all right so today I am making a uh, very easy kind of convenient um, you know lazy man's Thanksgiving dinner vegan of course and so I'm making Thanksgiving dinner for Jamie and I today it's gonna be um, it's, it's gonna be pretty easy I have to say so what I'm gonna show you are some um, accidentally vegan products as well as some obviously vegan products that are just made you know specifically as a replacement for for these kind of holiday things but yeah um, I thought it was it was time to to show just how easy it is so there are no excuses for a Thanksgiving dinner so it's Thanksgiving here in Canada so hopefully by the time um, you know Thanksgiving in the US comes around everybody will have watched videos like this seeing how easy it is and they make the switch as well. So without any further ado, here we go. So what we're having as a holiday roast is this uh, one from Tofurky, the veggie roast with wild roast stuffing. This is really good. I enjoy it. I'm going to eat a lot of this, <laughs> um, but it's so easy. I mean, it's literally just, um, you know, even from frozen, you just throw it in the oven. So, you know, two hours, 20 minutes plus 15 minutes uncovered. Like, how hard is that? And so then, again, some of these are just accidentally vegan items. We've got some of this uh, traditional sage with rice and vegetable stuffing. We've got some mushroom gravy. I mean, very, very good. We've got some mashed potatoes. And uh, just, yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of oil today, but that's okay. We've got some uh, liquid soy seasoning. Some sage. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a little bit. And then we are just gonna have some roasted. These are just frozen veggies, you know, out of a bag of frozen veggies. Super easy. A little bit of cauliflower and broccoli blend, some Brussels sprouts, and some corn. Literally just gonna roast these in the oven. It's gonna be super easy. Um, I expect that my total prep time is gonna be like less than 20 minutes, guaranteed. Obviously, we had to cut up some of these Brussels sprouts in half, but I mean, how hard is that? All right, so here we go. I've got the uh, tofurkey in the little pan here in the dish, and all I've done is I've just roughly chunked up two small potatoes, a couple carrots, and, a, and an onion, and I'm just going to bake those in there with the tofurkey. It's going to add a lot of flavor. Got our old spice of life dish pumped about that and um, yeah so the tofurkey just in there that's gonna absorb all of those flavors and what I've done is I've just made up a small mix of uh, it's just a little bit of oil some soy sauce or the uh, it's the liquid aminos basically the same thing a little splash of orange juice just a tiny little bit and then just a bunch of sage because I really love sage and that's just gonna go over top it's important to get you know a good amount of that right on the roast itself so that doesn't dry out but then the rest can just kind of go around the edges so that's gonna add a lot of extra flavor and moisture to the dish so just gonna throw the lid on that throw that in the oven on 350 for since it's frozen since I didn't thaw it out that's just going to go in the oven for uh, 2 hours 20 minutes covered and then I uncover it for 15 minutes and good to go. Alright so um, this has been 2 hours and that tofurkey roast is looking pretty damn good. definitely looking forward to this so it's telling me to uh, bake it for about another half an hour and then uncover it and give it some time so I'm gonna do just that but uh, yeah just thought I'd check in make sure nothing's burning everything's good those veggies are really caramelizing nicely and they're gonna give some extra flavor the house smells amazing right now all right so here we go we've got some garden stuffed turkey as well uh, Jamie prefers this to the tofurkey so quite simply while my tofurkey's in the oven I'm just gonna throw this in the toaster oven so um, yeah I mean it's pretty good single size single serving piece and you just throw this in the oven 
or toaster oven for 450 for about 25 to 30 minutes and you turn it once halfway through cooking. So, I mean, really any idiot could do this. I am proof. Okay, so for the stuffing, it's super easy again. All you do is just, uh, you know, basically boil some water and add a little bit of butter or something and the seasoning packet. And then once it's hot, add the bread stuff. So, I mean, again, super, super easy. We're gonna use some uh, vegan basil. Really cool they've brought that out. So I've just got my um, <clears throat> water heating up, a little bit of butter there, and I'll throw the, um, the seasoning in once that gets just a little bit warmer. Got the gravy in the pot. Again, open up a can and heat. How hard is that? Not at all. Any idiot can do it. And I've got some of the veggies in there as well, along with the uncovered tofurkey that's just about done. So I will get to this and um, yeah, I'll just show you when it's done and then I'm gonna move on to the potatoes which are gonna be super easy as well. Okay, so all I did was just heat up the seasoning and the stuff um, as instructed, poured it into this bowl, and then just mixed in the breadcrumbs, stirred it around just to moisten everything, and now I'm just gonna cover it up with some tin foil and let it stand for about five minutes or so, fluff it up, we're good to go. Now it's on to the potatoes. Very important as you're doing other things, make sure you keep stirring the gravy and then you get to taste the gravy as you go along too. But you don't want that to burn, so keep stirring every couple minutes. I've just got it on a really low heat anyway, just gonna let it slowly get up to uh, semi boil and good to go. Okay, so for the potatoes, it's per pouch. We've got three pouches here. Gonna make up lots, so there's leftovers and stuff. Food for the next couple of days. So I need a cup and a half per pouch and some merger and some butter, some, uh, some salt. So basically I'm gonna need four and a half cups of water. I've got that in the saucepan already. So I'm gonna bring that to a rapid boil with some margarine and some salt, and then just do the next step, which is stir in the milk and the potatoes. So that'll be, uh, that'll be easy enough. All right, so once the tofurkey was done, which it is and looks amazing, once that was done, I turned the oven up to 425 just so the, um, the veggies in the oven would bake a little bit faster, kind of roast a little bit. And so I just checked on them. They're doing very well, almost done. And what I did is I put just a, stirred in just a tiny little bit of the vegan margarine in with the corn just to give it a little extra flavor. So I've got my water boiling here for the potatoes. The gravy is done, just, just you know, sitting on low. Everything's coming together. Jamie's uh, garden thing is just in the toaster oven, just about done. We're, we're minutes away, folks. Okay, just stirring in the pouches of mashed potatoes into the water. Gotta grab some, uh, some milk to throw in there as well. Some plant milk, just gonna use almond milk. And uh, I'll show you what they're like when they're done, but yeah, this is gonna be easy. Folks, I mean, you know, there's a tofurkey, just cut a couple pieces off of that. I mean, that's amazing. All those extra veggies and stuff give it lots of flavor. So we'll come over here, show you our spread. Just gotta fluff the stuffing a little bit, but I mean, there you go. Jamie's Gardein uh, turkey cutlet, my tofurkey, roasted Brussels sprouts, broccoli and cauliflower, some corn, Tons of mashed potatoes, just instant, and some mushroom gravy. I mean, you really can't go wrong, and that was so easy to make, like, just so easy. So, I'll show you guys one more little uh, clip once everything's all plated up and we're at the table and everything's looking good, but honestly, anybody can do this. It didn't take me long. Okay, here we go, finished product, plated up. Beautiful veggies. Stuffing mashed potatoes, smothered in gravy. And there's a nice shot of the tofurkey. It's really nice and brown and crisp on the outside. Nice and chewy and meaty on the inside. Can't complain. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.